So here's the thing. If you do a similar fabrication, two ends, something like that, right? And you gotta put, definitely you gotta, you must have at least one flex because the metal removes when it's getting hot. That's the reason we put in the flex. So the bed is not gonna get cracked. Um, so like before you do the whole prefab, right? Everything was perfect fit, no issue. But when you start welding this stuff, the special stainless, because of the heat, it start move like all direction, whatever it's easy to go the direction, it will move and stays that way, I guess. So in my case, I weld all this side first and this Y connection, and then I connect everything back together and I see my right side was like completely off. Here's the 45, I cut a 45 I angle a little bit, uh, put back together, start welding the stuff. I weld everything up and it still came, came so off. So at this point, you see how big is the gap? And plus it's a little bit off on this side. So I have no choice right now as a, add another little piece. It's probably because I cut it here. It's, you know, shift everything over and cut it here, shift everything over. It's probably one of the eight inch, but yeah. That's what you guys have to deal with. So if you think you prefab everything and this is the final thing, no. Make sure you put everything back together and check all the clearance. The whole thing, it moves. Like, like, for example, over here, I kept actually at least half an inch gap before that plastic, right? So I'm getting like a quarter less, yeah, probably quarter inch right now. Uh, should be fine. It's not a problem in this case. All the fitments here, it's perfect the way I want. So the turbo is the way I want it. I just have to fix this side on the, on the, on the corner, right? And uh, yeah, I gotta add a little piece. So yeah, when you do fob, this is not your final location. After you've done all the belt, make sure it's fitment is the way you know you want it. You might have to cut it like I did it. I did twice, like I said. First one was here, then I weld all this crap and put it back together. It wasn't fit. So then I cut it here and I have to use the little piece. So yeah, it's kind of a little bit tricky. So yeah. And the bigger issue with this wrap, uh, like I said, my first single turbo was uh, B5 Audi S4 2.7. I have manifold crack a couple times and all because I didn't strap the turbo well. You gotta strap this manifold or turbo side very, very good. Like in my S5, I strap it to transmission. You have it uh, bolts in here. I just did the L bracket and strap it and it's never had an issue with the cracking after that. Yeah, you gotta make sure the turbo is secured and not, you know, floating around like you can see, right? It moves. That's what you gotta do. I mean, it's loose there, but anyway, when the heat and everything come up, it, it's, you know, stainless like to move. And uh, in this project, so we gotta finish that some corner and then I'm gonna start work on it for the uh, wastegate. We got the tire wastegate. My S5 location, the wastegate is on the passenger side. Uh, something around here, I believe. So, yeah, I guess double check. I have to double check, make sure it's not in the way because here's coming two lines for transmission cooling oil line. So I gotta make sure it's clear this up. Yeah, but my S5, it's location is right here. Right here. Gotta make sure I leave the ports for clear out all the ports for the air and water lines and uh, that's it yeah I'm gonna go from there and it's gonna be a little bit of just a little bit we can weld that up it's not a problem so yeah that's what I have to do in the end but before was everything perfect <clears throat> So like I said, this gate, we gotta cut it in here. We gotta try to make it flow smooth as possible. So the flow go this way, 
that means your fitting should look something like that right into the flow of the gas i mean exhaust uh, so westgate will be right in here a little bit away of the transmission because we have uh, dsg fuel fluid lines and dump pipe i'm gonna go closer to the filter housing also right down here bring down and put the v-band first v-band is gonna be right there somewhere in this area that's what i did this offset this offset for the reason of the dump pipe so i'm trying to be tight as possible with the dump pipe in here and uh, because the firewall it starts i believe as far as i remember somewhere around this area right here so it's pretty uh, pretty tight so i keep this tight pipe type as tight as possible to the to the head for the down pipe reason we gotta bring it down and we gotta use the original straps for the down pipe and that's it for the turbo hangers like i said either i put it here l bracket this this is the way i did it in my s5s uh otherwise yeah it came out pretty nice and um much better than my s5 manifold because for the past three years i learned my mistakes and just did perfect the way the way it's actually I'm supposed to do my s5 but like i said you need time to test everything make sure it's all all good we have i, forget, I think i got this <coughs> four years already in my in my car and uh yeah i bit share it for the past four years race looks pretty good decent size of the turbo like i said jace is g20 oh 35 g35 900s good turbo for 700 to the wheel for sure and should pull up really fast i hope my turbo is 67 mil millimeter this one is so uh, is my memory not mistaken? I think it's 62. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I think it's 62 millimeters, 62, 62. 62 compressor side and 62 turbine. Yeah, here it is, guys. I'm gonna shut another video when it's uh, Westgate complete and downpipe. So you will see total the way, look, you know, how it's gonna look. Takes a lot of time to prefab everything, you know, weld, then cut it again, weld again, to put everything in the spot where it's supposed to, to, supposed to be. I'm pretty sure when I'm going to weld this little piece, it's going to move anyway, but we're going to be close as possible to the V-band. All the V-band before it, you know, prefab, make sure it's they tight all the way in. And so if we have flex, we can play a little bit. So hopefully this will be enough. All this should be free not tight connection that's it so i weld this as you see i readjust and it fits fits perfect i can move a little bit that's how i want to be perfect don't be too tight make sure it's you know correct position don't like force it into the flange. If you're forcing on the flange, that means you have to redo it. It should be fits perfectly. And uh, then you're not gonna have any issue with the cracking and other stuff. So yeah, this one is all done. So manifold is done at this point because I don't wanna put the wastegate. I would like to do this uh, when I put everything in the car. So we can set exactly the location of the whisk gauge somewhere around this area. Um, yeah, that's it. Now I need the car so I can put everything back. Um, the whole thing and can put it in the car and continue with the fab work. So this one was something like that for the better airflow. In my personal car, I did a little bit different angle, which is it didn't give me any issue with the control of the boost, but still the smoother air flow, I mean the exhaust flow for the waste gate control is better. So I did the best I could in this situation because we gotta remember we have the firewall in here. I don't have much room. So most likely 
I'm planning to put the 90. A uh, little piece, maybe four inch long tube, and put the wastegate somewhere around here. But like I said, this all will go on the car. Uh, as far as the manifold, it's all set. Like I said, when you do the fob, make sure you have coolant line in there, you have PCV, uh, make sure you have, you know, plenty of space for it. Then you gotta put the T for the oil supply, which is I'm using here on the filter side. And harness, wire harness is gonna be here, so make sure you keep the space for that as well. And uh, AGR is gonna be plugged, so we're not gonna use the AGR on uh, my customer car. And um, yeah, pretty much, pretty much that's it. Came up really nice. All right, so next step will be dump pipe and continue the wastegate. Same thing, dump pipe and in the car. I don't want to mess, you know, guessing at this point. So we got to drop everything in the car and start fab the dump pipe. Uh, I I didn't. I don't really know yet. Most likely it's gonna be three and a half inch, but for this application it should be enough even three inch pipe. Three and a half will be most likely the overkill for the power we're looking for. 600 to the wheel, it's perfect setup.